Hello everyone, Danai here from Danai's Electrical Services and in today's video I will be showing you how to check if a transformer is faulty. So here we have two transformers. It's the two, it's the same transformer. Um, this is it. Uh, this is the old one and this is the replacement, the new one. Alright, so first thing i got this transformer out of a garage door opener and i realized that power was going to the primary side of the well hold on to the wrong one the primary side of the transformer but no power was coming out on the secondary side so that within itself already tells me that the transformer is faulty but just to confirm that yes this transformer is faulty i carry out a test using the ohm meter so this is my multimeter and you want to make sure that you have the this settings right here which is the continuity settings right so the same one that you use to measure continuity or resistance it also does the diode testing as well but we, re we are really just doing the continuity or resistance test right so what can be very helpful is if you have the circuit diagram for the transformer right we actually don't have it for this transformer but based on assumption this transformer circuit diagram is something like this so this is my primary what is that so this is my primary right and then my secondary is something like this because I have three wire and the secondary right that is my secondary so like you see it here this is my primary where I have the two wire this is my secondary where I have the three wire but this is not a center top transformer guys not because i configure it like this it's not a center top transformer right but this will also tell you the reading that you should expect when you carry out the continuity or the resistance test on the transformer to ensure that it is either good or faulty you might have some transformer that there, there are various configurations or there are various type of transformer or you might have one that is like this right and this is your primary i keep writing primary like that that is your primary and this is your secondary right so let's go back to this this tell you that you have a continuity be between these two points right this and this you should have cut you should get continuity between these two points over on the secondary side here you can get continuity be between any of these points so from this to this this to this or this to this you will get continuity right in this case now right let's say your transformer has four wire and the output you will get continuity from here to here right and you get continuity from here to here but you can't get it from here to here or here to here right once you don't have a direct connection from this point to the to the next point you won't get any continuity if you get a, or you should not get any continuity if you get a continuity it means that your transformer is faulty right so that's why i said the circuit diagram for your transformer is very important right so let's backtrack a bit and focus on this which is the one right here that we are working on so first thing i do is i go ahead and i check the resistance or the, <coughs> or the continuity in my primary right so let me put this right here where you can see it 
these are my two contact points so first first let me check my leads to ensure that my meter is working all right so i get my zero there it tells me that my meter is working fine in the correct settings and working fine and i go across these two points right and i did not get a continuity i should get a continuity but i did not because it is the primary side there are two wires there are only two wires right so regardless of the type of transformer i should get a continuity between these two points it means then that the coil is open right and that there is a fault let me go to the secondary side to check remember this is my circuit diagram this is my circuit diagram for this transformer i assume right so i get i should get continuity between any of these points right when i get into the resistance later so it tells me that i'm getting continuity now to the resistance basically for this test it is not much of any importance but just to let you see it 0 0.4 0 0.5 ohm 0 0.4 fluctuating between 4 or 5 and then from here to here i get 0 0.1 and then from here to here I get 0 0.3 right so but in most case by the way the sum of this across these two points I'm getting 0 0.4 and here I'm getting 0 0.1 and here I'm getting 0 0.3 so you realize that from here to here and here to here it gives me the sum of here to here right which is the reading that we are looking for based on our circuit diagram for our transform now this is the bad one and this is the replacement that we got right now to test my primary same thing And we get a reading of put it in more in the middle here get a reading of 6.2 ohm right you realize the difference this one the bad one nothing nothing right it it says overload which means that this is an open circuit overload it's an over open circuit and by the way you shouldn't get zero if you get zero it means that you have a short circuit somewhere there it means that your coil is burnt out or somewhere is shorting out and you have a short circuit so go again back to the good one 6.2 ohm On this side 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.1 0 0.3 so you see that the these two primary sides are corresponding which means that the primary side for this bad transformer is also good but the sorry the secondary side the secondary side for both of them is good but is the primary side on this one that is damaged because you realize that the reading that we get for the secondary is the same but however we get no continuity for the primary and this bad one and i test and you see the continuity that we get there so that is basically it guys that, that is how you troubleshoot and test or confirm if a transformer is bad or not right this will have some variation depending on the type of transformer, the amount of wire that you see. And um, but once you have the, the circuit diagram, 
and you follow the principle where once you see continuity between the coil and the contact point you know that you should get a, a some amount of resistance normally some very low number so same here you see that all the points connect at some point so you know that you get continuity but in this case where, where everything over on this side is separated for everything on this side you know that there shouldn't be any continuity other than between here these two points one two and these two points one two so there you have it guys that is how you check if a transformer is faulty or not if you have any question on this demonstration you can please leave a comment and i will respond accordingly as soon as possible thank you guys so this is another video brought to you by danai's electrical services and for other videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at danai's electrical services thank you